Hey water signs, Pisces, Skins, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at and see what messages does your special person, your romantic energy, your sweetheart, your crush, what messages do they want to reveal to you? Okay, so what is it that they want you to know, but they're not telling you for whatever reason? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address below the video. Okay, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages does your special person want to reveal to you. Okay, so Okay, it looks like your person does want to talk to you. It feels like they've got a lot to say to you, but they're having a hard time expressing it. They want to come in and they want to communicate with you. They want to open up and tell you how they feel. They're actually asking the, um, of you to be patient with them. Okay, temperance card here. Things are not necessarily as they seem or things aren't necessarily as you want them to be. Be patient with them and your current situation as well. Oh my goodness, it's stuck in here. I hope that you guys can see the cards and the imagery. I'm sure you're all quite familiar with them, but it is dark. Okay, um, so be very patient with your person. Be very patient with the situation because no, things aren't necessarily balanced. Things aren't necessarily as you want them to be. Um, they're trying to make things right. Okay, they're trying to work through something here. What they want you to know and what they so desperately want to communicate to you is that they're trying to make things work. They're either trying to work on themselves, they're trying to work through something or work something out for the two of you. Please be patient with me is the message that I get strongly from your person. Uh, just because they're quiet right now, which I feel they are, right? They've gone... I don't know if they've suddenly pulled away, if they've emotionally distanced themselves from you, or even if they're acting weird, be patient with them because what they want you to know is that they're trying to figure some things out. It's not because they don't want to talk to you. It's not because they don't have anything to say to you. It's not because they don't want to communicate. Look at them. They definitely want to, they definitely want to connect. They definitely want to, they have a lot of things that they want to tell you, but for whatever reason they're holding back maybe they feel like communicating with you right now or communicating about a specific topic or having just a conversation he might potentially make things worse between you and them I don't know if this person is attached or in a relationship with someone else or I don't know if you are um, because I am getting a bit of an imbalance. I am getting that there may be more than just two people, two energies involved in this situation. And maybe that's why they want you to be patient. Maybe that's what, you know, because they're trying to figure out some things. Maybe that's what they're trying to figure out, right? Um, so th it's not because they don't want to talk. They do want to talk, but you have to understand that there aren't necessarily words. They're not, there are not enough words right now for them for their thoughts, okay? Because they're trying to piece together things. They're trying to make sense of things. They're trying to figure things out. So just because they're quiet, it doesn't mean that they want to talk. To, they don't want to talk to you. Uh, I feel like they they can't shake the feeling of your first date, or they can't shake the feeling when the first of you in, like encountered each other. Um, they're looking for. They're definitely looking for a way to come in contact with you they're definitely looking for a way to communicate with you or to start conversation back up uh, they don't know they're afraid there's an energy of them being scared they're also being a little bit dishonest with themselves in a sense that this person does have feelings for you okay they do feel an attraction towards you your energy is something that sort of pulls them reels them right in but they don't know how to approach this maybe they've never been in this situation before maybe you know there's the environment in which this is taking place 
there's something here that I feel like it kind of restricts them having access to you, if that makes sense. There's something here that this person is... They're afraid to tell you. They're afraid to tell you their feelings because maybe this is a professional setting we're talking about. They're afraid to share with you their feelings because maybe you're in a relationship with someone else or they're in a relationship with someone else. They definitely have a lot of things they want to share and communicate with you, but I feel like first and foremost, your person needs to figure some things out on their own. And this is why, you know, the key message that I get for you is to be patient with this person. Uh, be patient with the situation. Also, there's someone who is a slow burning connection, and I know some of you might get frustrated by that, but this person is, this is going to be a slow burn, let me tell you that. This person wants you to learn them slowly, this person wants you to figure them out slowly, so be patient with how they're acting towards you, be patient with how they're handling themselves or this situation. They've lied to you in the past, maybe, and maybe this is something that they're afraid to do again okay maybe they've been caught in the process or they've lied to themselves in the past about you know ha having feelings for you and they're trying to hold back those feelings or they're trying to fight their feelings but it's but it's growing stronger and stronger and stronger uh, this is someone who maybe has been hurt or maybe you've been hurt by this person in the past and Maybe this person is well aware that they've hurt you, okay, or that someone else has hurt you with uh, their lies, okay, and their cruel intentions, and this person doesn't want to put you through those, you know, put you through the pain again, and there may be some trust issues here, right, so them staying away from you, them not making a move right now, them not communicating with you is all part of them trying to protect you and trying to protect this connection and what the two of you have. I know it sounds very... Odd, very peculiar, but I honestly think that this person is someone who you just have to be patient to see how everything plays out because I think that this person does have their best intentions um, for you, okay? They have the, your best interest at heart here, and I do see that this person is going to communicate. There will be future contact, there will be future communication. Also, they're going to explain to you why they've been acting weird lately. They're going to explain to you what's been going on with this person or why they suddenly pulled away or emotionally distanced themselves or why they couldn't step up here, okay? Everything is suddenly going to make sense. They want to thank you for trusting them or, thank you, or they want to thank you for being patient with them. You've been staying on their mind a lot. So just because there's no contact, no communication... Don't be fooled into thinking that this person has completely forgotten about you, okay? It's not the case. If anything, this person has been thinking about you quite, quite a lot here. They don't think, they're not finished with you yet, and I, I don't think you're finished with them as well. I just feel like this they're trying to they're really struggling to find their words they're really struggling to communicate something to you but it feels like they're also struggling to communicate it to themselves so maybe they're in denial about their feelings for you maybe they're not you know they're fighting they're holding and they're fighting back their feelings for you they're trying to you know they're at war with their head and their heart here they're trying to tell themselves that they're not in love with you when really they're head over heels in love with you it's like they're trying to figure this situation out because it's got them leaving so confused and so puzzled and they understand that you know the more that they hold back from you the more confusing it becomes from it becomes for you but honestly if you take away anything from this reading, it's that be patient with them, be patient with the situation. Things are going to get resolved. Things are going to start making a whole lot sense in the very near future. Contact communication is coming very quickly. For some of you, it's a matter of hours, minutes perhaps. It could be days, could stretch as long as a few weeks. But there is contact, there is communication in the very near future. Just make sure you speak your truth, okay? Make sure you tell this person what's on your mind. S you know, set the set the tone for this for the transparency of this conversation that's about to take place between the two of you. 
All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to inquire. Bye for now.